Joe Biden's very first executive orders, the cancellation of the Keystone XL pipeline project, his cancellation of that came with the prospect of these green jobs, millions of good paying green jobs. We have to start asking, when are these jobs going to start showing up? When can we expect to see some of these good paying green jobs? And before we get into the story, make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe button. Also, click on my link fly, always linked in my description box of all my videos. Make sure you click on that link, follow, subscribe to all my various social media platforms, and also sign up for my newsletter so we can stay in touch. But getting into this particular story that I want to talk about, a reporter asked a very good question, very pertinent question, knowing that this pipeline, the XL pipeline, has been, has been canceled on the very first day of Joe Biden's administration, one of his very first executive orders. And he canceled it without having anything in the works. This was his very first day in office. And Joe Biden, he's had this beautiful, beautiful sounding proposal of tens of millions of good paying green jobs and all that sounds beautiful but when are we going to start seeing any progress towards this we need a timeline and that is something that he is not giving and of course circle back Jen she's doing her whole terrible job as a press secretary White House press secretary terrible job because she is not answering any questions with any specifics as usual and when this question was brought up of course she had to get into her whole spiel which I'm gonna play the video for that but diving further into the story that's brought to us by the Daily Wire reporter Peter Dosi blasts Jen Psaki when do union workers get their green jobs? Great question, great question, because they already destroyed at least 1,000 union jobs and 10,000 projected jobs, including union workers and construction workers, with their cancellation of the pipeline, with nothing in the works towards a green job. There's no logistics. There's no logistics being put out as far as what they will be implementing for these green jobs. And we'll go ahead and take a brief look at uh, Joe Biden's proposal. A brief look. I skimmed through, the, through his whole proposal as far as his prospect for all of these millions of green jobs. But during during Monday, so today, so during today's White House press conference, uh, Fox News' Peter Dosi asked the White House press secretary, Jen Psaki, where are Biden administration's so-called green jobs for unemployed union and construction workers? Fair question, because he did destroy their jobs first day in office. So it's, it's fair to ask, hey, so where are these green jobs and when, or when will they be coming? Can we get a timeline? Can we get something? On his first day in office, President Joe Biden signed an executive order that revoked a key permit for the Keystone XL pipeline, which was designed to more efficiently move oil from Canada to the United States. The Biden administration's proposed green jobs plan has promised to create more than 10 million well-paying jobs in the United States. Wow, that is one hell of a promise, Joe Biden. And if, and hopefully, you can at least get any, somewhere close to what you promised, because we already know from what you promised already, you haven't really been fulfilling much as far as what you promised previously. And see, like I said before, you a man that makes a million promises a day, so 
sometimes we'll see you try to fulfill a couple of them, but you're not really off to a good start. So he's saying 10 million, 10 million, 10 million well-paying jobs in the United States, though no immediate legislation or executive order has been proposed to create such jobs. Exactly. There, there's no executive orders being proposed that can, that are creating these jobs at the moment. Nothing proposed as of yet. There was something proposed that destroyed jobs, but nothing proposed that created jobs as of yet. In a tense exchange, Dosi asked the press secretary where, where these green jobs are and when unemployed Keystone Pipeline workers can expect to apply for them. When is it that the Biden administration is going to let the thousands of fossil fuel industry workers, whether it's pipeline workers or construction workers, who are either out of work or soon to be out of work because of Biden's executive order, when is it and where is it that they can go for their green jobs? Dosi asked. Very, very fair questions. And we're gonna take a quick glimpse at Biden's climate, climate proposal where he talks about these 10 millions, these 10 million clean energy jobs. And do y'all wanna know how we know that they're not even updating this proposal, at least not for public view. You know how we know this? Because when we take a look at this proposal, what does that say right there? What does that say? It's still referring to Joe Biden as vice president. So we know that they have not been updating this website. They have not been updating as far as their plan going forward to create these 10 million jobs which is a very hefty promise. So with our current economic state in this world economy, our economy within our own country, it's not a good look to be destroying jobs at this particular time. We don't need to be destroying jobs. We need to be creating jobs anywhere we can, anywhere we can. And getting back to this Daily Wire article. So Saki, Saki addressed Biden's climate proposal and said that the plan may may be rolled out in the upcoming weeks or months. So very open. It may be a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. And see what what exactly will be rolled out is my question. What exactly will be rolled out? No details being provided as far as what exactly would be rolled out. Um, besides what was mentioned in that proposal that we know likely was not updated since it was proposed. Because they're still calling Joe Biden the vice president in that. And on their own website, on the on on JoeBiden.com, they still calling him uh, vice president on his own website so yeah so we don't know how up to date any of that information is but let's take a look at that clip of Saki being asked this exact question as to when we can expect some of these green jobs to show up thanks Jen I do have a question on both of the first time energy when is it that the Biden administration is going to let the thousands of uh, fossil fuel industry workers, whether it's pipeline workers or construction workers, who are either out of work or will soon be out of work because of a EO, uh, when it is and where it is that they can go for their green job. And that is something the administration has promised. Uh, there is now a gap. So I'm just curious when that happens, when those people can count on that. Well, I'd certainly welcome you to present your data of all the thousands and thousands of people who uh, won't be getting a green job. Maybe next time you're here, you can well, present that. But you said that they would be getting green jobs, so I'm just asking when that happens. Uh, Richard Trumka, who is a friend, longtime friend mm -hmm. of Joe Biden, says about that day one Keystone EO, he says, I wish he, the president, had cared that more carefully with the thing that he did second by saying 
here's where we are creating the jobs. So there's partial evidence from Richard Trumka. Thank you. Well, you didn't include all of his interview. Okay. Would about, you like okay. to include the rest? So, so how about this? Uh, the Laborers International Union of North America said the Keystone decision will cost 1,000 existing union jobs and 10,000 projected construction jobs. Well, what Mr. Trumka also indicated in the same interview was that President Biden has proposed a climate plan with transformative investments in infrastructure and laid out a plan that will not only create millions of good union jobs, but also help tackle the climate crisis. And as the president has indicated when he gave his prime time address uh, to talk about the American Rescue Plan, he talked about his plans to also put forward a jobs plan uh, in the in the weeks or months following and he has every plan to do exactly that no specifics whatsoever none see you would think for something for that significant of a promise i'm promising 10 million jobs that we would have some specifics that the white house press secretary would have specific details to tell us about that one because that is a major promise especially when we're in a tough economic situation right now. That's a huge promise. That's probably his biggest promise ever. Oh, besides uh, um, destroying, you know, the illness that's going around. So the Daily Wire goes on to report that the AFL-CIO President Richard Trumka, which is um, basically the president of, he's the president of the largest federation of unions. He slammed President Joe Biden during an interview that aired in part on Sunday over his executive orders that canceled the Keystone XL pipeline, which cost a lot of people their jobs. Axios reported the Laborers International Union of North America said that the, said the Keystone decision will cost a thousand existing union jobs and 10,000 projected construction jobs. And then Trump went on to state that, well, I wish he had not done that on the first day because the Labor's International was right. It did and will cost us jobs in the process. Yes. I'm also fearful of our of America's economic future because this 10 million good jobs, good paying jobs sounds like a complete dream, a complete fantasy. And we are not hearing any specifics, no updates, as we saw on Joe Biden's website. Because they're still calling him the vice president on his own website. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and blessings to you.